Lap of complacency. Judges chapter 16, verses 19 and 20. Then she lulled him to sleep on her knees and called for a man and had him shaven off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him and his strength left him. And she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he woke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. The lap of Delilah, Samson found himself that morning lying in that lap as he often would have in the past. But this morning was different because during the night, Delilah had the locks of his hair taken off. Samson lost his place of consecration before God and his strength had departed from him. What would that mean to us today? The lap of Delilah, I would suggest, was a place of compromise, but it was also a place of complacency. A place where Samson said, you know, nothing bad is really going to happen to me. Even though he had actually revealed his secret to Delilah, and yet to go back into that same place, thinking nothing was going to happen to him. If anything, Samson would have had to run from that place after he had given out his secrets. He said, man, I've given my secret. I am in a very vulnerable place because if she does cut my hair, that's the end of it. But he was so complacent. He was willing to go back and lie in the lap of this woman who knew the secret that could destroy his life. Complacency. What about us believers today? You know, many times the enemy gains access into our lives because we are complacent. In Hebrews chapter 2, verse 1, the writer of Hebrews says, Therefore we must give the more earnest heed to the things we have heard, lest we let them slip. That means, you know, we've heard these things before. We know these truths. We've probably heard a hundred sermons on that. We've probably read a lot of books on it. We've probably read, gone through all the scripture passages on it. And so what is our tendency? Our tendency is, okay, I don't pay that much attention to that. But you know, the writer of Hebrews says, we need to give the more earnest heed, give double attention to the things that we have heard, those foundational truths, those basic things, things that we've been taught. Pay a double attention to it lest we let them slip. Uh, the picture there in the Greek is like a pot with holes. Little by little it leaks. Eventually the pot gets empty. And that's the danger. Familiarity with truth leads to complacency. And it leads to this place where we let it slowly slide up out of our grip where once the very truth that raised us up to a place of strength is no longer in our hands for us to use because we've let it slip. So beware, guard against complacency. Give the more earnest heed to the truths we've heard lest we let them slip. Be careful of the lap of complacency. It leads to a slow fall into weakness, just like we see in the life of Samson. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us pay the more earnest attention, God, to the things we have heard and we've been taught, lest we let them slip out of our hands. Help us to guard against complacency. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.